My expect now with the weather. Yes, thank you, Jane. Good evening. And finally, it is the weekend and we're really excited. 17 degrees in Melbourne today, 17 again tomorrow, a little bit cooler on Sunday. And yes, we have some showers on the way as we go from autumn to winter. A couple of photos now that have been sent to Mike's Picks and Network10.com.au. And as per usual, they are fabulous. First up from Ray Lewis, we've got the white cliffs of Black Rock under blue skies. And reflecting on sunset, Charles Standing Snap, Kensington section of the Marabou and that is quite simply marvellous. 7 to 17 degrees, that was your temperature range across Melbourne today. At the moment outside, it's around 13, 14 degrees. The humidity at 70% and the wind northerly, although coming up from the southwest, blowing at 12 kilometres per hour, so it feels close to about 10 or 11 degrees if it's going outside. Around Melbourne today, temperatures were pretty close on average and skies have for the most part been mostly sunny, uh, mainly between 16 and 18 degrees early to mid-afternoon. Across the state, down to minus three that was the overnight low in the ups at Hotham and 21 degrees today's max up in the northwest at Walpia. Uh, most centers enjoying temperatures pretty close on average. A couple of very light spots of rain in the east of our state today. Around Australia and the campaign again by Australian. Yes sirree. Over in the west it's been raining. Uh, they've had eight millimetres of rain at Perth, uh, seven in at the airport and it continues to rain in the west tonight. Adelaide a very pleasant 20 degree day. Hobart a degree cooler but still very very nice indeed. In the national capital zero. Oh, that was cold this morning. 15 this afternoon. A degree warmer. 16 in Sydney but it's been raining. Six millimetres of rain falling there today. Over the weekend, lovely up in Sydney, they're looking at 20, then 21 degrees this weekend. Up in Brisbane, 24, then 23. In Canberra, again, 15 tomorrow, a little bit cooler on Sunday. Hobart, 18 tomorrow, but 16 in Showery on Sunday. In Adelaide, around 19 tomorrow, then 16 and windy and around 20 mils of rain the latter part of the weekend. As we move into our state, morning fogs and early morning frosts in the east. And it will be a sunny day at first, but we'll see a cloud rolling in from the west around the middle of the day. Uh, we've got some showers to follow, just light showers for the most part at the beginning. The showers then crossing the state at night, reaching central Victoria around 10pm. And the rain's getting a little bit heavier then, and the wind also strengthening and northerly strengthening in the afternoon. Colac, 8 to 16. Warrnambool, 9 to 19. Hamilton, 7 to 17 degrees. And pretty much showers across those areas after dark. Uh, wind warnings, a gale warning for the west coast, a strong wind warning for the central coast and also both bays around Melbourne and it will be a coolish start to the all-important weekend. Uh, Frankston, for example, down to 10 degrees. Uh, Mount D, temperature range of 6 to 13 tomorrow. And on the bays with a strong wind warning, northerly winds to 30 knots, waves 2 metres and the sun rising at 25 past 7. So for our wonderful city by the bay, uh, a little on the windy side tonight but remaining dry. Tomorrow, sunny and 17 down to about 9, a top of 17 degrees. In the afternoon, cloud blowing in uh, and it will get sort of windy northerly. It's getting up to 40 kilometres per hour. A couple of very light showers at night. And then Sunday, 11 to 17, a partly cloudy day. A great chance of rain, only a couple of mils there. And then it gets colder on Monday, the first day of winter. Colder and wetter, in fact, 9 to 14 degrees, 4 to 15 millimetres of rain. Tuesday again chilly, 8 to 14 with morning showers, about 5 mils. Wednesday, 14 degrees with a shower or two. Uh, Thursday, 14, very cold Thursday night. And then Friday, also around 14 degrees. That's it. Have a wonderful weekend. I'll see your smiling face in winter. Yeah, see you on Monday. Jen. Thank you, Mike. And that's 10 News First for this Friday. I'll have updates throughout the evening. The project is next, but for now, good night.